Oh, hello. Welcome to another in the series of videos on my kill teams. And today I'm going to talk about my Comorite kill team. So you can see them here on the screen. They're probably one of the kill teams that I have that best survived the transition from uh, Kill Team 2018 to Kill Team 2021. So here is a bigger photograph of them. And you can see that I've got more than 10. I've got some spares. I've got a mixture of witches and warriors, although the way they're painted, you can't really easily tell which is which. And I did swap a lot of the heads around, so more of them have uh, bare heads because I just prefer to, to paint bare heads and to have bare heads. And I feel like it makes them look more um, elite. And I guess with the Tau... With the release of Tau Pathfinders, where the Games Workshop basically went, how do we make these guys more elite? Um, and then they put loads of bare heads in the box. I guess that yeah, I kind of follow through with that idea. Painting them, I went back and checked my notes because uh, I painted these guys years ago. As I say, these were the team I made in Kill Team 2018. The only things I could find that I'd written down um, was that the the glow effect you can see on the whips and the little pipes and on the guns there is the hex wraith flame technical paint the one that everybody thinks was kind of the precursor to citadel contrast and i was really pleased at the time about how i tested that and how it came out and the main body of the black armor um was the what i the really obvious kind of dark eldar highlight colors right so it was a calabite green edge highlight and then a sort of sybarite green uh, second highlight on top of that it's funny going back and looking at old models because I, I kind of think oh well I could do them so much better now but actually I wouldn't want to I think that they're good enough um, the faces I think I could go better or more importantly I think I tried to get that kind of um, alabaster skin tone that kind of light elfy skin tone it really hasn't worked I think if I was to do these guys again I would use a different recipe for the for the flesh i can't really remember how i painted the skin looking at it now i suspect it's the things that you'd think the the sort of dark eldar flesh tones that they come out with so rakar flesh um pallid witch flesh those kinds of colors but i think if i was to paint them these days i might just try and do them a kind of light human skin tone i don't know i don't know but it's not something that I think it's bad enough that I'd want to revisit them. I'd be quite happy to put these down on a table and play a game with them if I fancied a change. I think that they have stood the test of time pretty well. Uh, the metal elements on the guns and things, it doesn't look like it's anything special. It looks like it's, um, you know, lead belcher with an all oil wash and then an edge highlight of... It wouldn't have been the Vallejo model air chrome at the time. It would have been Stormhouse Silver. Because I didn't turn on to that Vallejo model air chrome for a little while. And the red looks like it was Mafest on red with a, um, a null oil wash and a highlight of, I'm going to say, Wazdaka red. But I am literally, while I'm recording this, looking at the miniature and trying to remember that. Which is why I haven't written it on the slide. Because the stuff that I've written on the slide is the stuff that I'm absolutely certain about. Um... But the, the the stuff that I'm sort of saying verbally is the stuff that I'm trying to work out. But it's interesting to go back and look at old teams. They're a really complete team. Got loads of things I can swap in and out. I also didn't need to change anything um, for Kill Team 21. Didn't have to modify anything because I'd already assembled them with a good mix of different weapons and things. I'm going to, at some point in the future, do a a read through of their rules and my hot takes and maybe when i've done a look at their rules i might decide because i'm looking at that leader with the splinter rifle and an agonizer and i'm thinking possibly that's not how i'd equip a leader for kill team 21 um because i think in kill team 18 i usually took that as my leader because i was quite often wanting to stand a leader at the back right and so a long range weapon was the best choice because in Kill Team 18, when your leader died, you lost uh, resource generation. I think if I was playing them now, I would probably most often be taking the leader from the Witches um, with her Blast Pistol and Agonizer, and then taking just the Cabalites to bring in their heavy weapons, the Dark Lance and things like that. I don't really know. I've not played them in 21. I'm just really showing off my hobby. Uh, the bases are the Necromunda bases. I did, back in 2018, did all my... Uh, bases on those Necromunda bases or on the Sector Mechanicus bases. 
Uh, funnily enough, I'm not doing my novitiates on those bases because I have a sister's army on a kind of a dusty desert um, scheme, and I think using molded bases gets really uh, expensive really quickly if you're doing like a whole 40k army with them. So my sister's a battle uh, kill team when I'm finally ready to show them off. I've painted uh, nine of them. I'm just painting a sergeant now. When I'm finally ready to show them off, they are different bases. But all my old kill teams have got these Necromunda bases. Uh, and that's really it. That's really all I have to say about how they were painted. Um, I just, you know, I did say I was going to go back and make a video about the kind of old teams. Um, old teams are hard to make videos of. Maybe you're going to regard this as a filler video because there's not really much substantive that I have talked about. But uh, it's better to put up something than to put up nothing, I think. Um, and it just gives you another look. So I've got one more of these videos I can do because I've got one more team um, that I can share with you. I've got a, a, an Imperial well, it's a Scion team that's painted. Um, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll do some on my, my wife's got some lovely models. Um, Zimbad, who is the guy that I play on Friday, has got some lovely models. So maybe I'll keep doing some showcases of their stuff and be able to talk any even less uh, expertly about them. I know this is becoming a meme, but there might not be a video tomorrow. The reason being that I am a, uh, a teacher, and tomorrow is the like prize uh, giving ceremony. So it's when all the students who um, finished school, graduated, I guess, in America at the end of last year will come back and we'll sort of formally present them with their GCSE certificates and things, even though obviously they've had them since September because they've all started at the colleges and things so I will be getting back here at about half past nine and I'll be pretty tired um, so we'll see how that goes um, yeah and so that's really all from me I hope you've had a really nice day hope that you continue to have a really nice day any suggestions for future videos stick them down in the comments uh, Please like and subscribe if you're minded to do so. Buy things from Element Games using my link. All that kind of stuff is pretty cool too. And yeah, as I've already said, I hope you have a really great day. Cheerio, bye.